Come on, come on. More over. Oh, oh! Oh my goodness, no! Oh my goodness. Yo, 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 what's going on guys, it's your boy Spyler, 2K7 coming, with you, coming at you guys with another Coastal Callouts video here in Grand Theft Auto 5 and LSPDFR. Today as you can see, it is pouring down, raining here in Los Santos, weather is not really too good, um, but um, yeah, we are on standby, we are on duty just in case anything does happen. Uh, myself and the rest of the flight crew do have a uh, Jayhawk as well as a Dolphin here just in case anything happens. We're going to go ahead and park up our Silverado here and let's head into the office. So welcome back guys to Coastal Callouts. If you guys have no idea what this is, it is a Beta Coast Guard mod for LSPDFR developed by PNW Parks Fan. Um, it's still in beta obviously, but if you guys want to get it a little early, you can by checking out the video description, check out the Parks Benefactor program, also check out the Work in Progress page as well if you want to stay updated and see what's going on. Man, our roof is not good at all. We got water dripping through the roof here. But um, anyway guys, we are on duty. We're going to go ahead and head into the office and um, we pretty much have the helicopters ready to go just in case anything happens. But um, yeah, in our downtime, we're just maintaining the aircraft and um, hanging out in the station, making sure we are ready to respond. So let's see what happens today, guys. Dispatch to all Coast Guard units. We've got on a boat off the western coast. Units requesting air support. All right, guys, we have dispatch requests and air support. Looks like we have a meta back here. All right, we got a cargo ship five miles off the west coast. We have an injured worker. He probably slipped and fell in this crazy rain here. All right, let's go ahead and leave the office. We're gonna have to get changed into our rescue clothes here, actually. So let's change real quick. So I believe to have one victim, and we gotta rescue them from a cargo ship here. So this should be pretty interesting, guys. Let's go ahead and switch into our rescue uniform here all right we're ready to go oops let's actually go out of water since we're not in water all right there we go all right so let's meet up with the rest of the flight crew um the pilot is already getting the helicopter ready and let's go ahead and get going here guys so it looks like it's gonna be one male. His name is Edward London. He's on a cargo ship and they are five miles away, guys. So this weather is not the best here. So this is gonna be pretty interesting here. All right, um, looks like they're gonna clear us for a direct takeoff here so we don't have to taxi. All right, you ready? Ready to go? All right, let's make sure all of our systems are online. Weather and visibility is not good at all today, guys. You know what? They actually want us to go ahead and do a rolling takeoff, so we're going to go ahead and use Heli Taxi for that. It looks like we have to fly just south of the um, airport here. All right, so what we're going to do is go ahead and do a rolling takeoff here, mainly because visibility is so bad. They just want us to take off directly from the runway here. So we're going to go ahead and take off. Go ahead and turn and head south and see if we can find that cargo ship. Visibility is not good at all, guys. It's gonna be a challenge here. All right, so we are clear to enter the runway. And we're gonna go ahead and take straight off. You ready? All right, let's go ahead and power it up. And just a little bit of throttle there, and we are up, just like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn direct. Oh, okay. Let's not hit the hangar first. Alright, let's go ahead and head south. Visibility is not good, guys. Visibility is not good. 
We're going to have to really fly with our instruments here. We're going to have to watch our altitude. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, but we do train for this. So we have a little bit of a flight to go. Uh, they're about five miles out, so we're going to be flying for a little while. And um, I'm not sure if we have a direct location of where the, the cargo ship is. We may have a direct, direct location. Let's see. But this Jayhawk looks awesome, though. All right, let's go ahead and get our map up here. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, we still have a pretty long way to go. All right, so we we gotta have a while to go, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through some of the flight time, and let's see what happens once we get on scene, guys. Alright guys, it looks like we have found the cargo ship here. Yep, that's gonna be our ship. Daisy Lee. Yep, that is the ship we're looking for, guys. Alright, so this is the ship we're looking for. Uh, we're getting some information here. It wants us to lower ourselves to the deck, grab the injured ped, injured worker, and evacuate them to the hospital. Alright, easier said than done. Alright, so we have switched places. Our pilot now has control of the aircraft, and he's Taking us way too close here. Can we go up? Up, 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 up. Thank you. Alright. Now, the challenge with this guy's is the boot is moving. Oh, I see the people already. I see the people. Alright. So I'm gonna tell the pilot to go ahead and um follow the people here. Let's see if he can get us a little bit closer to them. See if we can zoom in. I see them right over there. There's an injured person right there. It looks like there's a crewmate trying to tend to him, so we're gonna have to try to get these people off somehow here. And let's see how we're we gonna do this, guys. We need to get a little closer here. All right, I'm just trying to get him a little bit closer to these people here. We gotta find a safe spot to kind of lower ourselves as well. Back of the ship would be nice right there, but it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge here. All right, let's see how he's able to follow the ship here. We have a good view here. So he's following kind of the center. Here. I would ideally, I would like to kind of land like maybe right here. I'm going to tell him to fly to the waypoint here, so let's see if I can put him where I want him to be. Let's go ahead and lower our altitude a bit here. It's going to be a real challenge here. Alright, so let's go ahead and head to right rear. Let's go ahead and get our correct uniform on now. Actually, we're not going to need that. we we'll keep the same uniform on. Alright. Let's see. We're gonna have to try to track this ship here. Let's go ahead and enable the hoist here. Alright, so we got the hoist enabled. Let's check out the hoist cam. Alright, we're like directly above them. As you can see, the ship is moving, so it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge here. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Alright, let's see where he wants to put us down at. Let's let them kind of get stabilized and then let's try to get down here. It's going to be a pretty tricky hoist. We have a crane we got to watch out for. The ship is going up and down. The wind is blowing. It's going to be pretty hard, guys. Looks like he wants to put us down over here. Alright. Alright, guys. We have no time to waste. Let's go ahead and do this. So we have our rescue swimmer on the hoist. So let's go ahead and start lower him. Rescue swimmer's going down. I don't know how we're going to even get down here all the way. Oh, we are moving a lot, guys. We are rocking a lot, guys. Let's see where we're going to end up here. This is a really dangerous hoist. Oh, this is very dangerous here. Very, very dangerous. 
swimmer is a hundred feet below the aircraft right now look how much slack is in the line from all the rocking and rolling there it looks like we're going straight through this is very dangerous here oh we're smacking into that a little bit there i don't know how much hoist we have left are we gonna make it straight down guys up oh, up oh, up oh. i think we made it uh oh uh oh all right we're off let's go ahead and pull up that and right, let's tell that pilot go ahead and gain some altitude i think he's hitting something up there so I'm going to tell him to gain some altitude and I'm going to tell him just follow the nearest vehicle. Alright, so we got up there. The hoist is coming up. The hoist is coming up. I'm not sure what was hitting there. I got scared. I thought the helicopter was hitting, but I think that was just the, the hoist there. So it's going to be a really tricky hoist. Alright, let's see. Where are we at again? The back of the ship is that away. So let's go ahead and put a marker over there so we know which way to go. So let's head towards the back of the ship, guys. So we have made it onto the ship. Let's see if we can find a person now that needs our help. And we're trying to get them off and get them to safety. Look at these waves, guys. Whoa, these waves are insane right now. All right, let's try to figure out where we have to get to. If you guys are enjoying all the Coastal Callouts videos every week, and make sure you guys smash that like button. All right, where exactly do we have to go here? They are... Oh, the place didn't come up. This whole time I thought I did that. Oops. All right, I'm there. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the ship, I can tell you. Yep. I'm pretty sure they're over there. So I went to the wrong side of the ship. We got to head over there. All right, so let's run back to the other side of the ship. We actually went to the front of the ship. They are in the back of the ship. Let's not fall off then we would need to be rescued all right so let's make our way to the back of the ship guys ship is just bouncing up and down with all of these waves here it is crazy how nature could push this thing all right the helicopter has eyes on the target we're trying to make our way to the victim here without falling off this is really scary Really, I want to end up in the water, guys. All right, I think he's... Is he on the lower level or is he on the upper level? I forgot. I think he's on the upper. Yeah, he's on the upper. All right. So let's get up to this upper level. Let's make the rescue. So half of the challenge is gone getting our swimmer on board. The next challenge is getting our victim off and then our swimmer back off as well. Now, he is injured, so I'm thinking we're probably going to have to use a stretcher, which is going to complicate things a little bit because we're going to have to do two more hoists we're not going to be able to just do one hoist and get out of here so there's a lot of room for error and we just gotta make sure that we are as safe as possible here all right so i made it up to the brig well not really the brig this is the back ship hello are you okay what happened to him is he okay he got hurt you need some help? Alright, um, we got the helicopter above, alright? <sighs> this is going to be a really tricky place to hoist this guy up. We really don't have too much space here. Um, yeah, we really don't have... Alright, we're just going to have to do it right here. Alright, I'm going to get the helicopter to come in here. I'm going to need you to help me get him onto the stretcher, okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and get back to the helicopter view now. Let's go ahead and follow ourselves. So right now, what the pilot is going to try to do is position himself directly over us. Now, it's going to be hard. Like I said, the boat is moving. The helicopter is moving. It's the job of the pilot and the uh, flight engineer to really get, get the hoist where we need it. So right now, the flight engineer is guiding the pilot and telling him exactly where he needs him to put the helicopter. And we're going to go ahead and try to put the hoist down, guys. So this is really crazy. I'll try to get as low as possible so that we don't have as long as a hoist. We're going to also... I think that's probably as close as we get safely. I think he should be good. Oh, he's really low. Please don't hit that. All right. Let's go up a little bit there. I don't want to hit anything. All right. So what we're going to have to do now, guys, let's go ahead and get a stretcher here. This guy is injured. Oh, look at that new stretcher. That looks awesome. Look at that. All right. So we got the stretcher hooked up. Let's go ahead and send the stretcher down. Stretcher down. So right now we're playing as a flight mechanic. We're trying to get as close to him as possible. Again, we are fighting a lot here. 
Wait, did one of the guys stand up? Now I don't know which guy I'm supposed to rescue. I think it was the guy in the, the thing. The um, dark color, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna try to get this as close as possible. Hopefully I rescue the right person. I'm pretty sure the person hurt was this guy over here. Yeah, I think it was him. Hopefully. I can see it now. Hey, so you rescued the wrong person. I'm joking. Pretty sure you rescued the right person though. So this is a really challenging hoist, guys. We're trying to line it up here. Oh, look at the how much we're rocking, guys. Look how much we're rocking, guys. All right, where is it? All right, there's the basket. That looks awesome. That's the new basket. All right, perfect. We got them exactly where we need them to be. All right, just lower it just a little bit more for me. Crap, it's kind of stuck. Come on. Oh, man. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. 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 Down, 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 down. All right. Perfect. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Nope. Not you. Not you. Sorry. All right. I'm pretty sure this is the person we got to rescue. All right. A little lower. A little lower. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh. Oh, man. This is really challenging right now, guys. This is really challenging. Alright, let's see if he can swing it in one more time here. Now, in real life, they would use another line to kind of help put it where you need it to be. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Down, 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 down. Come, up, come on. More over. Oh, oh! Oh my goodness, no! Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't believe we just fell. Oh, he's still alive. Alright, cool. He's still alive. We're still holding him. Alright. I guess that's just gonna be a blooper there. It's probably it's trying to reload me. I hope he doesn't disappear. So this just shows how dangerous this is, guys. As you see, we fell off of the boat there. But it looks like the boat is still there, so. Oh. Alright guys, so. We fell off the shit. We died, but we're back here. Oh my god, we're about to die again. We're about to die again. We're about to die again. Okay, we're okay. All right, this is not going as planned at all. We're on a, the stretcher's still out, so let's just try to rescue him with the stretcher. <laughs> oh man, this did not go as planned at all. All right, let's get the stretcher down. You okay, sir? Let me hold on to him here. Let's not lose him. He's still alive. Don't die on me, man. Alright, I still got him. So we fell off of the ship while the medevac was happening. My god. Alright, so let's go ahead and put him into the stretcher here. Alright, we got him in. Oh, nope. How did he get out? Oh, I accidentally took him out. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Wrong button there. Wrong button. Let's go ahead and put him in. Oh, come on. These waves. Oh my god, this is such a challenge. Anybody who has played Calls of Callouts know that this really is a pretty good challenge. There we go. Alright, he's in. Let's go ahead and lift him up. Alright, he is going up, guys. Man, that was crazy. Alright, he's going up right now. Take a look. Whoops. Alright, Survivor is coming up. I'm going to go ahead and lower our altitude a bit just so we could grab the player a little bit faster. Survivor is going up. About 70 feet left. Man, this is insane. Alright, so he's he's nearly inside the helicopter there. We don't even have our fins or anything on too, because we thought we weren't gonna go into the ship. Where is the ship at? Ship is all the way over there. Alright, luckily we're able to hold our own here. Alright, let's get him into the aircraft. Alright. So let's get rid of this stretcher. 
Oh, wait, that was a basket. This whole time I was calling it a special. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Oh no, yeah, it is a stretcher. Okay. It said remove rescue basket, so I thought it was a basket. Okay, yeah, the basket's still the same. Alright. Cool. Alright, let's get a little bit lower here. Let's do a quick pickup. We are really low. Let's not get too low, because these waves are pretty high. Alright, hoist going down. We're going to go ahead and get our swimmer now. Hoist going down, hoist going down. About 15 feet, 10 feet, and there's the hoist. Alright, so let's get to the hoist. Alright. And let's get up. Alright. Swimmer's coming up. 30 feet. 20 feet. 10 at the helicopter. Alright, let's pull them in. Alright, so we have our swimmer in. Let's go ahead and delete the hoist. Alright, that was pretty crazy there, guys. Wow, that was crazy. Alright, um, let's get this guy to the hospital. Nurse Trauma Center. We're going to take him directly to the hospital. Let's see, where does it want us to take him? Wants to take him back to the station. Let's take him directly to the trauma center. I think we did these two last time, so let's head... Actually, we did that one last time. Let's head to this trauma center here. That's probably the best one equipped for what he's dealing with here. And we're going to go ahead and sit in the back here. Alright, let's take a look at our survivor. You okay, buddy? You okay? Alright, he's going to be okay. We have him stabilized. Pulse, heart rate, blood pressure is okay. So let's go ahead and get him to the hospital. And man, this was crazy. Like, this is why none of these rescues, it's never a routine rescue. You never know what could go wrong. Like, I thought we had everything under control, and next thing you know, we, we went off overboard, man. So, glad we were okay. Could have been worse. At least we survived, kind of, sort of. Alright, uh, you okay, buddy? We should probably put him in one of these other seats, but... Oh, well. Alright, so right now, our pilot's trying to get us back to the hospital here. Uh, looks like it's not going to be too much of a longer flight. Alright, so we're going to have you at the medical center in about five minutes, alright, sir? You're doing great, don't worry, you're doing great. Alright, let's switch to the co-pilot seats. Alright, great job flying back there, man. Great job flying. Alright, so we're coming up passing Los Santos airspace here. We are cleared directly through. Oh, that was pretty close there. Alright, we'll go ahead and take over command because our pilot is just rocking so much. So, I'm going to jump over here. I have command of the aircraft. Alright, I got to be really careful here. Lots of buildings. We're gonna have to watch out for visibility. It's not good. So I gotta be careful here, guys. We have to be careful. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Let me know what you guys think of my little screw up there. Um, I mean, it happens. Fortunately, we died. But um, yeah, I guess we gotta do some more training. But hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you want to see some more coastal callouts. Let me know what other calls you guys would like me to do. Would you like to see more helicopter rescues, some more boating episodes, more boating patrols? I think about doing a patrol with the sheriff boats next. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. All right, let's start making our approach for the hospital. It's actually right down there to our left. Go ahead and make our approach. I'm trying to find it here. Oh, there it goes. Alright, so we're going to make our approach spin around and land. Try to bleed off some airspeed a little bit here. Is that done? Alright, coming in. Final approach. That was a pretty nice approach. Alright, so we're at Central Los Santos Medical Center. As you see there on the right. And we're trying to land this. 
Jayhawk here. And um gas survivor to safety. Alright, it's bleeding off all that extra speed. I'm just gonna crawl it right in and land it. Ah, a little bit too short. Alright, there it goes. Oh, a little lag there, but we are done. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and let him go in. As you can see, doctors and medical staff, nurses are all taking him in. And it looks like Edward London is going to be okay. Alright, so return to base. We will return to our base, guys. I think we did pretty good overall there. Alright, so they got him inside. Let's go ahead and head back to our base now, guys. Alright. This helicopter is beautiful. Skyline GTR Freak really did a great job on this and parks as well. So like I said, if you guys would like to get close call outs a little bit early, definitely check out the Parks Benefactor program. You can find out some information about that in the video description down below. Also check out check out um Skyline GTR Freak as well. I have a link to his channel and his downloads page at um gta5mods.com both could be found in our video description down below so let's head to the airport guys we are cleared for landing and let's put this bad boy in so the weather isn't too good i think we're gonna land or we'll probably taxi this aircraft inside because the weather is not too good looks like there's another coast guard helicopter out on another mission looks like it's a dolphin can't tell if they're returning it looks like they're going out on a mission actually you guys see them yeah, it looks like they just took off. All right, so let's go ahead and land at the station here. We're just gonna land directly at the helipad and then we'll taxi inside. What a crazy day though, guys. What a crazy day. All right, we're back at our Coast Guard station. Coming in for our landing here. And we are down. Alright, so we are down. Go ahead and bring this thing inside using Heli Taxi. Again, Heli Taxi can be found on GTA 5 mods and um, it is released. Also by PNW Parks Man. Alright, so let's go ahead and taxi this inside, and um, we'll turn it around, and we'll keep it inside for the rest of our ship. Go ahead and do our after flight checklist here, our debriefing, and make sure we check all the systems, and we'll get this helicopter prepared for our next run. Alright, good job, man. Good job today, man. Good job. Oh, wait. I should have probably told them to get out first. I'm pretty sure they don't fly away anymore. <laughs> but, um, cause I did get out one get out one before I started recording. But let's go ahead and tell him he could leave. Alright, perfect. Alright. So, man, that was awesome there, guys. Really do hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you guys smash that like button. Leave a comment down below, subscribe, hit that post notification button, all that good stuff. But anyway guys, thank you guys for watching, I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!